Hey, I'm Alex, and I'm the CEO and founder of eCompete Solutions. We are an Amazon consulting agency and one of the fastest growing Amazon consulting agencies that exist today. And for today's video, we're going to talk about cannabis related products and alcohol related products and why they're so incredibly hard to sell and why I don't recommend selling them. And nor do I actually work with any cannabis related products that includes CBD companies, I cannot work with them because I can't provide them any help. Now, it's pretty obvious, I'm sure, that you can't actually sell cannabis or alcohol on Amazon.com. But here's a fun fact. In Amazon.com.mx, Mexico, Amazon Mexico, you can sell alcohol here. And there, there's Bacardi, there's rums, everything, all on Amazon. And you can even advertise it. You can move your brand in Mexico and improve your brand in Mexico uh, even though it's alcohol related and uh, it, that's really nice. I, I really totally recommend it. Um, now for cannabis related products, this is a weed grinder. Now, before I jump into it, you should know that I am a brain tumor survivor and I am licensed for medical cannabis use and I'm a huge advocate of THC and I wholeheartedly believe in it. Um, so I, I have nothing against THC at all. But as far as selling it on Amazon, extremely, extremely hard. Why? Because it's not about listing it on Amazon. It's not about listing this thing. It's not about finding a supplier. I'm sure you can find a supplier for these weed grinders. The idea here is that for our strategy for launching on Amazon, advertising plays a huge role in that. And then when you start to advertise this product, you'll get this message, ineligible. Your offer is not eligible for advertising. And you'll realize that this item is cannabis related. Therefore, you can't actually advertise this product. And then you think, well, why are other companies selling it? Well, they're getting away with it. Why are they getting away with it? Well, they're using words like spice grinder, kitchen helper. Um, I mean, who? <laughs> I, I've been around lots of kitchens. I don't see something like this for, you know, grinding time. Um Grinder for Spice, even this uh, banner advertisement through sponsored brands, you see here Grinder Kitchen Helper, uh, lots of things for the kitchen. Um, you'll even see here um, some funny little designs. And okay, so th these right here, this is obviously cannabis related and uh, has extremely poor reviews. Um, I feel bad for this, this listing right here. But um, th th this is all 100% cannabis related. And sometimes there's uh, newbies to the game that they think, wow, uh, weed grinders, or I don't know why there's a Rubik's Cube here. Uh, weed grinders are uh, so incredibly profitable. And it's true. The numbers for weed grinders are very positive and you can make money selling weed grinders. But the problem is that the strategy that we're talking about here that we've talked about multiple times involves advertising. And once you list your Rick and Morty weed grinder, then you'll get flagged immediately and you can't actually advertise it, meaning you can't make money off of it. I mean, if you have years to just exist on Amazon, then OK, maybe do a weed grinder, but um, it's not going to be gone for a very, very long time. Um, see here, I don't even think they put wheat granite. They just put perfect gifts, decorations. Like if this were a decoration, there's a lot, a lot of loop loopholes that you have to create. There's a lot of hoops you got to jump through. Um, it's too much, it's too much. If you want to sell on Amazon and you'll do everything right and you'll still get flagged. Um, I've seen many, many people just waste lots of money on cannabis related products. What do I mean by cannabis related products? Let me show you something else here. I'm going to show you something called tapestry, but for like cannabis related product, weed, right? So, okay, so this, this is something that hangs in your wall and to make your apartment or your house look kind of better because you have something cool in your wall, right? But this is cannabis related. Now notice here, this one's not cannabis related, but this one's psychedelic and that therefore this one's being advertised. But this one is cannabis related and therefore it's not allowed by Amazon to be advertised because it's blatantly cannabis related. Now, again, if you have years to exist on Amazon, then yeah, you'll accumulate some reviews and you'll accumulate some organic traction and it'll probably be fruitful for you because you got years to, to, to spend. 
But if you're following along in this video series, you'll know that a big portion of the strategy is to advertise for us. If you can't advertise this product, there's no way for you to move this product. And I would deem this product as just never do it again. Uh, now on the alcohol side, I'll give you an example. This is something called uh, a chug bud. And uh, this is something that you bring to tailgates just to have fun or something and grab a beer and just chug it as fast as you can. This is not alcohol. It's not alcohol at all, but this is uh, alcohol related. Now this is a alcohol shotgun. You put in champagne in there and shoots it. Um, uh, oh, this is for newborns. Okay, totally unrelated. That confused me like you wouldn't believe. Okay, a lot of these. Okay, this is a bottle opener. This is a mug. See, he, this is a good example. This is a beer mug. And uh, this is currently being advertised, which means this was not flagged. But this has the potential of being flagged. Why? Because you put beer. So if you put beer in it, you're going to get flagged by the Amazon bot. And you have to know how to get around it. You have to know how to get your listing reinstated. And if you don't know how to do that, you'll sell a glass beer mug and you'll get suspended and you'll end up quitting right then and there. Uh, this one's called Chug Buddy. Uh, this is not being advertised. This is organically ranked. But I, I assume this is cannabis related. But, um, but yeah, this, this one here. Beer snorkel funnel, beer bottle. I've seen these a lot before. This is to chug beer very, very fast. This cannot be advertised. If you try to advertise it, it'll be ineligible and you won't be able to move this product. So be careful when you're making your decisions on which product to sell because you might find a really good product to sell like Weed Grinder and then realize that you can't actually advertise it and you just wasted a bunch of money on a purchase of a thousand units on something that you can't even advertise on Amazon and move it properly. Hey there, and thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something that will help you get a return on your investment in your Amazon journey. Now, as you may already know, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor six years ago, and I stand here today due to the efforts of the University of Miami. I spent 12 days in the hospital and about six months of rehab later, it's like it never even happened. What the University of Miami is doing is incredible. What the University of Miami Brain Tumor Initiative is doing is incredible. So I would be forever grateful if you considered making a donation to this initiative. And how do you do that? Well, if you've seen my courses, you know I love going to Google. And when I go to Google, I'll put in University of Miami Brain Tumor Initiative. And you can literally write this all totally incorrect and Google will correct it for you. And then the first link here is umiamihealth.org. You'll get taken to the exact section where you'll find the University of Miami Brain Tumor Initiative because you know that the University of Miami is a big, big school and there's a big hospital. They do lots of different things. You wanna to get to the section where it's the Brain Tumor Initiative. And then up here, you can just press donate now and then you can follow the prompts and you'll see a bunch of buttons that say, oh, your donation will be a tax write-off. So you can look forward to that and you can look forward to, see here's the button right here. And you can look forward to helping thousands of people like myself get a second chance at life.